Yes guys, welcome from me, Championship Manager 0102, you probably saw yourself there right, and you thought, what the fuck, his video picture is on whilst the intro is being played. Truth be told, I ain't got a fucking clue how that happened. Um, so, as you already know, I was going to be off uh, the game for a bit, um, last night gave us an unexpected slot for, to, to get a session in, and we did, it's been a while, um, it's been, oh fucking hell, 18, 19 days, but we, uh, during the course of the day and the evening yesterday, we fired out a brilliant session, um, I don't know how long it'll be before I get another session in, or, or another video, uh, I did plan to stream yesterday, but that was all fucking me around, but it was a bizarre session yesterday, because, firstly, um, we concluded season 25 on this epic of a game on Heads Up Network game, myself and Matt Collier-Brown, you can see right there, um, we haven't moved clubs since the last update. Um, literally, since the last update, this is uh, wh where we are now, is uh, what we what we achieved yesterday, du during the course of yesterday. Uh, so I'm still River, Matt is Milan, but we have started the new season. Now, we learn things new every day, don't we, in CM, after all these years. I said at the start I didn't have a fucking clue about Argentina. Well... Certainly learnt a few things about Argentina. Let's start with me first then. In fact, no. Fuck it. Let's start with Matt first. Matt. AC Milan. Matt has been building for the new season. Only a couple of players. I do think he's going to be looking at a job. Um, but the most important thing for Matt, he clinched a title. I think he did it with like three, four games to spare. Um, he did absolutely brilliant, Matt. Uh, and, and a huge congratulations to him. He put an end to the Inter Milan domestic dominance. Um... Question was, could he do the same thing in the Champions League? Um, with myself leaving into halfway through last season, it was an opportunity for Matt to um, to just uh, break the duck of um, Milan being in the shadow of Inter, as you can see there from the domestic side of things. In regards to the Champions League, it went like this. It was harsh for Matt. It was fucking harsh. Uh, again, the dominance of Inter uh, came to an end. Matt knocked them out in the semi-finals. And he was devastated in that final because prior to that final, the last game of the Italian season, he played Udinese and he thrashed them with a second string. So he was a little bit gutted. And I know if it was me, I'd be fucking furious. Um, so uh, that is where Matt is at. Uh, he got knocked out of the Italian Cup very early on. Inter Milan won the Italian Cup. So an interesting thing popped up with Italy yesterday. I think I know the answer, but I'm not 100% sure. So the season finished, right? Matt haven't had the Champions League final yet, I should put that out. And Lazio, who finished 8th, were playing Udinese, who finished 9th. They were playing each other in a playoff. Now, we were trying to ascertain what the fuck's a playoff for. Uh, so, I'm not quite familiar. Gary Johnson, I know you're familiar with Serie A, so you might be able to answer that. Why were they playing each other? My gut feeling was it was that uh, 8th place would get a Inter Toto Cup or a European spot of some kind. So, they had to have a playoff. Uh, they, were, they finished on level points, 8th and 9th, and both their games finished a draw, but not necessarily going to be based on them games, because uh, one game was 1-1, one, one, one game was 3-3. Three, three. Nevertheless, they finished on bang level points, and they played each other in a playoff. However, this is a fucking bizarre thing here, right? Is um, If it is to go to see who was going into Europe, uh, I think it finished 0-0. Nil, nil. Uh, let's just have a look at Udinese quickly. In fact, I'll show you very quickly. Yeah, that's here at our playoff. I don't know what it was for. So it finished nil-nil. So then they, had the, then they had the Champions League, and Udinese then won the Champions League. So they're going to go into the Champions League this season anyway. So if it is for Europe, then it's irrelevant, because Lazio will take it anyway. Uh, that being said, Lazio ended up winning the, uh, that, that playoff. So I'm assuming Lazio go into Europe. Uh, I don't know if they're going to be in Europe yet. Oh, right. Okay, that answers that, don't it? Lazio have gone into the Intertoto. So, Matt, maybe that was it then. And had Udinese have won it, they'd have gone into the Intertoto. But Udinese are going to be in the Champions League anyway. I don't know. I'm not really so familiar with the playoff side of things. I mean, is that, does it always work as a playoff if you want? Because somebody said this a few seasons ago when me and Matt could have finished on level points. It would have gone to a playoff if it was a result in, in an important place. So like the Championship or a Champions League spot or, or into Toto Cup or a relegation. I don't know. So Matt is all prepared then for the new season. 
uh, he did buy um, this guy here. I did actually go. Uh, did I go for him? Yeah, I did go for him. I think. I'm sure, I went for him. No, it weren't. It was this guy. He brought two Australians, and um, we believe that that is going to be the Harry Kewell regen. Just FYI, all the renames have gone now. At least for me, anyway, they've all gone. Um, will Matt still be here? I don't know because you can see we're at the ninth because we're at the start of the new season. Um, I think Matt's time in Italy is done. I think he'll be so fucking wound up with the um, the way the Champions League went, he'll just want to get out of there. Over to me. River Plate. Well, what can I say? What can I say? Um, we did it. We, uh, so you may recall, uh, we took over just after the closing stage had finished, and we won the se we, we, we won the second closing stage as well. Now, Gary Johnson again. Sorry, I always refer to you. You pointed out that the winner of the the, the opening stage plays the winner of the closing stage. Is that right? Is that what you said? I couldn't work find any evidence of that, and not just that, but that wouldn't apply surely because I've won them both. So that's why we have two, and it turns out that the first one at the top is the opening stage, and the second one is the closing stage. Anyway, we did it. We we we, we did it, and um, the the shit thing for us then is the equivalent Champions League, what I believe is a Champions League, this um, Copa, uh, South American Copa Liber Libertadores. Uh, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals um, to, Argent to a fellow Argentine uh, team. was a little bit fucking annoyed at that, if the truth be told. Um, but... The start of this new season, we've got this uh, this side, this competition here, the Copa Moscou. I don't even know what that is. Now I thought that first one was the Champions League. So what's this one? I honestly have not got the foggiest idea. So which one is the equivalent Champions League? Which one? Is, or you know, this is a South America. I don't know. So if anyone can help with that, now then. You may recall um, our self-imposed rules of seven transfers per CM calendar year. Now, I had two players. Now, remember the fuck-up that I made? I didn't know the Argentine transfer policy, and I was only allowed two transfers in the winter transfer window. Um, so I was going to lose five. So firstly, the update comes along around the 19th, 20th of June. Now, depending on the speed of everyone's computer, and if they've got much on it, it can take anything from a few minutes to fucking 20 minutes. Uh, and depending on the um, the the game and how um, how heavy the file is, it normally takes, on average, uh, ten to twenty minutes. It's a bit of a dinosaur computer. So I said to Matt, right? Says first update, mate. Going to make a cup of tea. Came back. Fucking second update had been done. Literally within one minute, it had done. Now I'm not. Uh, I'm at my brother's. Um, and the internet connection is no better. That's a definite. The PC is still the same. If anything, the PC has been going slower since I reconnected it. So, go figure. Oh, it's got to be something to do with me being in Argentina. I don't know. But one minute. Less than a minute. So, I don't know. Anyway, the other thing that's uh, popped up. So, at the turn of the season, as per usual, particularly for AC Milan, the transfers reset and so on and so on. And the fixtures. Now, that didn't happen for me. That didn't happen for me. The window opened on the 27th, right? But at the end of July, the end of July, the everything updated. And there was no update, but my, my, my table updated to a fresh table. My fixtures got refreshed and my transfers reset. So clearly it's from August to July for me to have my seven transfers, which was brilliant because I was able to then get my next five that I thought I was going to lose. So I got five players when the window opened, and then I, then when that happened, I had one week to open before the window shut again, and we've got six players in. So really, really pleased. They're not the greatest players in the world. Um, you know, I've had to obviously pick up Argentines as well because uh, I can only have four non-Argentines. Um, I was pleased with. Um, there was a couple of players I was very, very pleased with. Uh, I think it was actually last season. Uh, right, so I told you about Cedric Jean. Did I t did I show you him? Ex Inter Milan, very pleased with him. Uh, NATO, very pleased with him. Um, I did have a, a, an English centre half come in that I didn't want to really fuck off, but then I managed to get this guy from Middlesbrough. So it was very, very although this prick, right? 
did get a red card in that opening game for me. He, yeah, he did get a red card. Because I have had one game. Now, this is a bizarre thing. Come back to that in a minute. Delgado, very good player. Uh, Montenegro, solid performer. And these are the two that I got. So, my, my, um, my things have reset. My fixtures have reset, as you can see. We're up to the first game. However, I did have a game to start the season off, which was this game here. Which was the first game of, that, of a cup that I was talking about. The first group game. So, as I said, if you know what that is, let me know. Because I'm really, really intrigued. I don't know what's a Champions League. Gary, I know you said about it and I couldn't quite work it out. I don't know how this all works out. I really don't. But nevertheless, will I be, Argent will I be in Argentina uh, during the season? Who knows? Let's have a quick look at the job page. There isn't much going about. Matt did look at Porto. Was it Porto? Porto is available. Benfica are available. They both had good money, but awful squads. And I, of course, I had a stint at Porto. I fucked up on going back there. I told them Portugal was shit. Um, so, that is it then, guys. Uh, that, that is where we're at then on, on this next milestone. So, a quarter of a century on this epic of a heads-up game. Namely, Game On. Till it's time from me, guys. It's Take It Easy.